So what's going on everyone, it's Exo here again and in this video I'm going to show you a short overview of using the developer console for Black Ops 3 mod tools. This allows you to use things like no clip, god mode, third person, all kinds of different commands. This is going to be a short overview showing you how to use it in custom games. So first and foremost we're going to want to go to the mods tab and then you're going to want to enable any type of mod, it doesn't matter what it is, or be on a custom map. Here I'm going to enable a mod that's called the vanilla mod. This actually spoofs Black Ops 3 into thinking that you actually have a mod enabled. So you can check that out here in the description. Now I'm just going to set up a short game on Nuketown with some bots to give you guys an overview of using some of these commands. But the most important step to enable cheats on your server, you want to hit the tilde button. It's in the top left corner. It's that button with the squiggly line. Hit that and then type in forward slash developer space 2 and then enter that actually enables cheats on your server you can disable it by using the same command and then hitting forward slash developer space 0 just interchange between 0 and 2 to enable cheats on whatever game you're on and now let's get into the game I'm just going to show you guys a few of the commands but for reference you can check the link in the description I'm going to show you guys where to find all of the commands for Black Ops 3 they're not exactly the same as World at War although they are similar let's start off this game with God mode you're gonna hit the tilde command again and type in forward slash god and then enter that and there you go you're invincible as I said earlier I'm just gonna show you guys some of the basic commands here but you're gonna to want to check out that reference guide because that's where you're gonna find every single one of them for those of you that have been following me for my glitches and spots things like that don't worry I do have another video coming out later I just really wanted to make this tutorial because I've seen a lot of people asking in videos how you were able to actually do these commands in game so I figured this would be a helpful tutorial for a lot of people. So for third person, you just want to do forward slash CG underscore third person space one. You change that to zero to get out of third person. So that's just like doing the developer console to zero. Getting out of things like no clip or God mode, you just want to type the same exact thing you start with. So you do forward slash God or forward slash no clip. That actually is the command for no clip. Now no clip allows you to fly around the map, go through buildings, go under the map. You can go to the end of the map's boundaries and go anywhere you want really, but you have to make sure you have God Mode on when doing that because obviously Black Ops 3 has so many different death barriers. And using UFO mode, it's done with the same way. You just want to do forward slash UFO, and it does the same thing. The only difference is the controls for UFO mode and no clip are different. Let me know in the comments which one you prefer if you do use Black Ops 3 mod tools. This is the same thing that was on World at War and Call of Duty 4, so even if you're not playing Black Ops 3, let me know which one you prefer. So the last basic command I'm going to be showing you guys is actually how to get any weapon. Unfortunately, you can't do zombie weapons in multiplayer or vice versa unless someone custom made it for that. For instance, someone made the staff of fire. You just need to do forward slash and then give space and then the weapon name. So for instance, with staff of fire, we're going to do fire underscore staff and then enter. Or if you want to get the locust, you just want to do forward slash give space sniper underscore fast forward. And then enter that you'll switch right to it it doesn't matter if it's in gun game or anything as long as the cheats are enabled you'll be able to get those guns as of right now in October there really isn't all too many custom weapons but I can't wait to see what we're gonna have in store soon my fellow admin over at next gen update Tustin check his YouTube channel out he's actually been starting on making some weapons so if you check out his YouTube channel you'll get the first updates on when he does do some custom weapons now I'm probably gonna do another video guys today on combine so don't worry, I'm going to get off mods for just a little bit and get back to glitches. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and for those of you that were looking for a tutorial, I hope this did the job and this is what you were coming to see. Black Ops 3 Mod Tools is just getting started, obviously, we're still on the beta, but this will work all the same when the real thing is released. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you in my next one.